you've appeared on a number of sketch comedy series from uh, Stella to The Whitest Kids You Know, which I, I, it's a, such a fantastic show. Um, Upright Citizens Brigade Comedy, Originals, Flight of the Concords, and, and Michael and Michael Have Issues. Since then, I've become a born-again virgin. So with you, with, with, with all this uh, sketch comedy experience, and you've done things on stage, what, what do you think is the key ingredient to creating a, um, a, a successful sketch? Uh, I think, I don't know. I think you, it just has to be like rooted in something truthful and um the the people like the characters need to express something in a crazy way usually helps that's a i love lucy inspiration coming out <laughs> yeah 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 i don't know i mean flight of the concords that was a really awesome job and that was i didn't know any of those people and that was like incredibly fun to be a part of mm -hmm. um, and that job actually i auditioned for the Kristen shawl part, but I didn't get it. Um, but I, but during the audition, you know how during auditions they say, um, now slate your name, right? That's like part of every audition. They go now slate your name. So then this, I did the scene sometimes they usually do it at the beginning, but this time they did it at the end. And for some reason, and I had been auditioning and I had auditioned for a billion commercials. So I know what slate your name means. I know what you do. But in this situation, for some reason, I did the scenes. And then at the end, she goes, now slate like that. And then I thought she said, okay, now sleep. I thought there was a part in the script where the character went to sleep. <laughs> so that, that I didn't know about. So then I just finished and I, and then I went like this, I went. <laughs> and I like pretended to sleep for like I was waiting for her to be like okay that's good we got enough sleep from you she didn't so I slept I pretend slept for like a while and then I pretend woke up I, knew, I, I, knew. <laughs> I was like I guess this is a scene that I didn't know about so I'm like oh, oh. <laughs> like that right I'm sorry are we boring you <laughs> It was so weird. And then I leave and I was like, I could tell something weird happened. Like she was like, like looking at me weird. Right. And then, and then I left and then I just was like walking around New York that day. And I ran into my friend Heather and I told her what happened. And she was like, are you sure she said sleep? Like, what if she said slate? And I was like, Oh my God, I think she said slate. And then this is a kind of a weird, like it kind of works out this story because then there was a guy who was like coming over to my house and I was supposed to tell him a story that he was then going to animate for YouTube. So I told him this story that I had this audition for Flight of the Concord. She said Slate at the end. I thought it was sleep. I went to sleep. I went to sleep. So he drew it and it like went up on YouTube like shortly thereafter. And then she, the casting director saw it. She saw it. And then she called me. And that's, I don't have a phone relationship with her. And, and she called me, she was like, Andrea, I thought you were like a narcoleptic or like, <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. I'm so glad to know that's what happened. And I was like, me too. I'm so glad now you know what happened because otherwise I seemed like a crazy person or like I was on drugs. And then she did have me come in for Flight of the Concords just to be at the table read. But I kind of knew the table read was like sort of an audition because it was like all of the guys and everything, like the Flight of the Concord guys and everything. And then and they also had seen the YouTube video of me talking about like the cartoon version of me talking about what happened and they probably thought it was really funny. And so then I was hired for it without auditioning for that part, even though I sort of auditioned for it because I did the table read. And they were two of the nicest people. I mean, those Flight of the Concord guys were like so awesome, so cool. And I think like two years ago, I was at the Fringe Festival here in LA and I and Jermaine was there to, we were both there to see the same play. He was like, Andrea. I was like, I can't believe you remember me. That's gotta be one of the best audition stories. I've ever, 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 ever.
Why don't you subscribe? It'll last longer.